Hello, 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 hello. Claire Ackers here, coming to you live from Sunnybank Mills in Farsley. How are you on this Thursday lunchtime? As always, if you are watching me live, please say hello in the comments so I know who's watching. And if you are catching up a little bit later, say hello with hashtag replay. And it's a bit of a shame, really, that I've had to shut this blind before I can talk to you because it is the most beautiful, uh, sunny, warm day out there, but needs must. Um, so I've had to block out the lovely light so I can I can see you. Um, and I hope you are all right today. And I'm feeling awesome today. I'm feeling absolutely incredible. Um, I took a chance this morning and I met with a stranger under a bridge uh, to go for a dawn wild dip. And that sounds a lot more risky than it was. Um, it's a friend of a friend and we ended up meeting and going to a lovely wild dipping spot that I go to very often. If you see any of my socials, there's pictures of me all over it. And it was 6am and the dawn was fresh and new and the light was beautiful and I swam in the water um, and it was just the most exhilarating way to start the day. Uh, and I feel absolutely just buzzing, just buzzing with excitement about everything that's going on at the moment. So what do I want to talk about today? Well, I've called this conversation, Who the Heck Do You Think You Are?, who the heck do you think you are? And this is the narrative that many, many uh, women have inside their heads when they come to me. So I want to talk about this today because it is important. And if you resonate with this one, this idea of who the heck do you think you are, uh, I want you to know that I see you. So let me know if this resonates. So this is you if you had such big dreams when you set up in your business. You had a vision, you had a mission, you were going to change the world. Um, but over time, as you've become a little more experienced, a little more realistic, a little bit more jaded, perhaps, those dreams have very quietly diminished or started to slip away. You had such a big audacious dream of what you want to do with your business. You had this, this clarity about the business that you wanted to build. You had an absolute certainty. You knew right down to your bones, right down to your gut that it was going to work. There was a brilliant idea and the world needed this thing and it couldn't help but work. Um, you sat down and you worked out the numbers and you could see how it was all going to happen, how you're going to hire people, how you're going to build the lifestyle that you're going to have um, and how much cash you were going to make, how wealthy you were going to be and what you were going to do with that wealth as well. You weren't going to sit on that wealth like Scrooge McDuck. You were going to change the world with that money, change the the, the world of your family, um, change your community, do all the wonderful things with the wealth that you were creating. Um, you were so, so excited by your mission, the people you were going to help, the lives you were going to change by the business that you were putting out there in the world. And there's a little bit of you that could not wait to stick it to the doubters. The bullies at school who made you feel like you were that high. The ex-boss who crushed your confidence and made you feel rotten and like you were never going to amount to anybody. Your mother-in-law, your ex-boyfriend, whoever it is, the doubters that kind of scoffed when you said you were going to set up a business, laughed at your idea. Um, you could not wait to prove them wrong. But now, as time's gone on, you're feeling kind of numb a bit numb and you may be drinking too much or eating too much to kind of distract yourself and avoid maybe lifting up the rocks on that numbness and seeing what's what's underneath. Um, there's, a, there's an anxious knot in your chest or maybe in your throat, an anxious knot that's just so normal for, your for you now. Um, it's just like this underlying anxiety that's always there. 
it's so normal that you you don't even realize it's there anymore unless you really really stop and tune into it and then you you kind of realize that that is your new normal to constantly be feeling anxious and worried that something's going to go wrong um you've maybe lost your sparkle a little bit you know you're kind of faking it the enthusiasm the passion the the sparkle for the pitch your clients haven't noticed it yet you're still delivering an absolutely exceptional service to them your staff haven't noticed it yet your suppliers haven't noticed it yet but you know you know that you're not operating in all cylinders there's a lot more that you can give and as well you're struggling to bounce back from the knocks as quickly as you as you usually could and to somebody else it might be teeny tiny little bumps in the road not even worthy of tears never mind self-doubt but to you they are just feeling like body blow after body blow and you don't know if you've got the strength the energy to keep on climbing that mountain it just seems all too insurmountable you're frustrated you are so so frustrated you're doing all the things you're intelligent you're brilliant at what you do you've got a great reputation you know what you should be doing but it's not working as quickly as you would want it to it's just not working even though you are putting in so much effort um you're not as wealthy as you thought you'd be you're not living the lifestyle that you thought you would when you set up in business you're wondering when's this going to work when am I going to feel successful? When am I going to feel respected? When am I going to feel worthy of success? When are you going to be able to relax? And you are juggling all the balls all the time. You're juggling balls in the office. You're a professional decision maker, making a million decisions a day. Um, you're juggling all the balls at home, trying to make sure that you don't drop any balls for the kids so they don't lose out. Um, and you're wearing so many hats and you're not wearing any of them particularly well. The context switching is huge. <laughs> it's, it's taking you so long to wear a different hat to context switch and be able to step into the next role. And if you are really, truly, brutally honest, and that's what we're here for, isn't it? Is those, those, those brutally honest, vulnerable conversations, you're starting to settle. You're starting to settle for what you believe is available to you, for what you believe you deserve, of what you're worthy of, of the kind of business that you think you can build and let go of those dreams. Let them start to slip away and start ignoring, amending, evolving, diminishing what it is that you really, truly, honestly desire. You've got a narrative going on of it, that either or narrative of you can either have um, a successful home life or be wealthy and successful in your business. You're feeling like that'll do for me. I've got a little bit that'll do. Who the hell am I to push for more? You're scared of jinxing if you really do push yourself out of your comfort zone and go for it. Not that you know how to at the moment that you're going to jinx what you already have and you're feeling like you should be grateful, you should be blessed for all the wonderful things that you have in your business and your life so far. Um, and I'm here to tell you that the problem is, is not that your dream was too big. It's not that your dream was too audacious. It's that it wasn't big, outrageous, bodacious and audacious enough. You're not dreaming big enough. My name is Claire Ackers and I help women rip up the rule book and grow aligned, impactful businesses that are capable of changing lives. That is what I do. My program is called Audacity and I chose that name because it, because it is all about reclaiming that idea of who the hell does she think she is? Who the hell do I think I am? Who the hell do I think I am? Reclaiming that audacious idea and just living it, living that audacity and creating your dream life. 
So my program is called Audacity, but what you might not know is that it was inspired by my own Audacity journey, my own authenticity journey. Um, I didn't know I was allowed an opinion until the age of 30. I had a very um, controlling father, uh, a disinterested mother, and I basically went through life keeping my head below the parapet, being a good girl, staying under the radar, trying not to cause any trouble and trying not to lose my voice. So to use my boy voice or be noticed in any sort of a way. And that led me drifting through life. It led me drifting into my first career. It led me drifting into a marriage and getting divorced before the age of 30. And it led me drifting into building my first business, which looked awesome on paper. I looked so successful on paper. I had a team of seven. I had, um, my accountant was very, very happy with me in terms of the numbers. I had a brilliant client list. I had a great reputation. I was being invited onto the BBC and all sorts as an expert, but I built myself a beautiful trap. It was not making me happy. And it was only when I had the audacity to admit to myself that this is not my life, this is somebody else's version of success, that I was able to rip up the rule book and create my own audacity journey. Until I did the work to figure out who I was, what I stood for, and have the courage to live that every day. And that is what I want to share with you now. There are six steps to making that happen. And this is what I would like to share with you now. My superpower is helping you discover who you are at your core, your true, unapologetic, amazing, authentic, true self, and then helping you step into that with power and authority and like a warrior queen. So you can start unapologetically living your dream life and building your dream business. And this is how I help my clients from feeling disconnected and numb and a bit beige and who the hell do I think I am to dream this big um, to aligned and authentic and like their belly is absolutely full of fire and they're ripping up the rule, rule book and feeling like they are changing the world with their work. So let's talk about these six steps to making it happen. So step number one is ignite your fire. This is all about identifying what makes you you. And we are talking about your values, your core values. If we cut you down the middle, your core values will be running through you like a stick of rock. So we've got to ignite your fire. We've got to help you remember who you are, what you stand for. And if we cut you down the middle, what those values are at your core, reconnect, or in some cases, just connect in the first place with who you are, your unapologetic, true, authentic, beautiful self. And once we've identified who you really are, we can move on to step number two, which is all about permission to dream. It's about getting rid of that rule book. It's about getting rid of that either or myth. It's about getting rid of that. This is what I think is available to somebody like me and saying, what do you actually want? Intentionally designing your business and your life, putting everything on the table and grabbing hold of and articulating that beautiful, audacious dream. And once you've said what you really, really want, the next step is all about taking your power back. And this is about mindset mastery. It's about looking at your origin story, the narrative, the stories that you have running through your brain, just like that idea of who the hell am I to do this? Who the heck am I to try and grow this big, beautiful world changing business and reprogram that narrative, that saboteur, that origin story, that imposter syndrome into something that's empowering, into a belief system that is going to supercharge your mission so you can actually make it happen rather than trying to achieve your dreams as you are at the moment, like you're wearing lead boots, like you're dragging along an albatross that is stopping you from actually getting the results that you want in your business. And then when you've done all this, step four is about taking up a level and stepping into authentic visibility. It's about putting yourself out there in an authentic way that feels amazing to you and connecting with your tribe at heart and a gut level. 
Somebody asked me about networking today. They said they hate networking. They asked if I like networking. And I said, no, I hate networking, but I love being amongst my tribe. And that's what authentic visibility is about. It's about being around the people that light you up, that make you feel 10 foot tall. And that's the wonderful thing about female founders is that when we rise, we bring other women with us. And that's exciting. So that's step four, authentic visibility. And then step five is about claiming your space. It's about impact and it's about influence and it's about creating the business ecosystem that just makes you the go-to expert, the undisputed authority in your niche and a thought leader in your space, um, crafting the business that works for you unapologetically. And then step six, finally, is about making your success inevitable. It's about looking at the macro, the long term, the big vision, the the legacy, the purpose that you want to create and being really clear on where you're heading. Whilst at the same time, looking at the micro, looking at the golden daily habits, looking at the essential standards and looking at the consistent results that are going to allow you to find that sweet spot between the macro and the micro and make your success inevitable. So this is a beautiful sustainable journey that is capable of delivering true transformation and self-mastery and peak performance and authentic self-discovery and allowing you to create and achieve more than you ever dreamed possible in your business. This has not just worked for me, but it has worked for all of my clients as well. And the good news is that Doors to Audacity my signature group cohort coaching program, the doors are open right now. The doors are open right now for a small magical cohort of female founders who are excited by what they can achieve. I'm going to teach you all these six steps and so, so much more. So my plea and my invitation to you is if you have resonated with anything I've been saying today, reach out book a call and let's have a chat about whether Audacity is a good fit for you. There is a link in the notes for this conversation. Please have a look at that. And if it speaks to you, let's have a chat. Thank you for being here and I'll see you very soon.